G'day guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this amazingly fast Cobra bag using the Pulis Multibase, a PVC pipe which I've painted red and a ball made out of a pool noodle. <laughs> Now one key advantage of having a ball made out of a foam pool noodle is that it never needs to be inflated. Now all the details including everything that you need for this project is on cures.com in the DIY section. Okay, so let me go through the things that you're going to need for this project starting with a 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. Now this is a, a flexible plumbing pipe that's used throughout the world and the standard size outer diameter of a three quarter inch pipe is the same throughout. In some countries it's to refer to as a 20 mil pipe, in other countries as a three quarter inch pipe. The outer diameter is 1.05 or 1.06 inches um, diameter. So that's going to be the engine of your Cobra bag. For the base, I'm going to be using the Culis Multibase with the click mast. I've designed this so it's exactly the right diameter to fit a three quarter inch pipe, whether it's a galvanized pipe or a PVC pipe. So it fits perfectly. In fact, you can take the click mast with you to the shop to ensure that you get the right size PVC pipe. Now I'll talk about how to set up your base in a minute, but first I just want to say that the other thing that you're going to need is a pool noodle. So I've got a five foot long pool noodle here, two and a half inches in diameter. It's got a hole in the middle and that will be used to make the ball. To make the ball, you're going to need some duct tape and a serrated knife to cut the pool noodle. With the duct tape, just get the thick, the wide um, size duct tape. That's the stretchy stuff and nice and wide. Now there are a number of options for setting up your base. The simplest, most cost effective way is to just get a baseball like this. It's a chip board, two feet by two feet, and you just screw the multi base to the middle of it using some thick screws. Um, I've got one set up there already. I've got the Cula sandbags uh, to weigh it down. You can use 10 litre water containers I used to use in the past, or any other weights that you like. Now, you can also use suction cups, as you can see over there. And that works well in a garage, like in a painted floor, they stick really well, so you don't even need a baseboard. Or you can also buy the Culis platform paddles. They simply stick into the bottom of the base, and then you put your weight, uh, sandbags on top of that uh, to weigh it down. But this is the most cost-effective way, so I'm just going to use that to show you. Once you've got your base all set up, and you've got your PVC pipe in there, working like this, you're ready to make your ball. You can take your PVC pipe out and I'll show you how to make the ball. Now there's one key advantage of making the Cobra bag ball using a pull noodle as opposed to a ball like this. It will never deflate. But if you don't fancy yourself making the ball, just get yourself a Culis Cobra bag with the adapter and Bob's your uncle. So the first thing that you need to do is cut off a piece like this, seven and a half inches in length, and that's gonna form the core of your ball. You can go ahead and thread it onto your PVC pipe straight away, all the way until the pipe comes to the end like that. Next, you wanna take about a foot, 12 inches, and you wanna split it in the middle like this. So you've got two long bits like this, and each bit you wanna cut a slight angle on the end like that, so you can see there like a Subway sandwich kind of sub. So now you take one of these and you wrap it around the top like that until it comes all the way here. And now I'm gonna tape it. Now try to keep the tape taut when you're applying it so you've got a nice smooth surface. Okay, so that's both of them done. One at the top, one at the bottom. Now don't go overboard with the tape couple of rounds of tape around it should suffice. Finally, you want a section that's about 18 inches in length. You want to split it down the middle. You only need one half of it and cut away one corner like this 
on that sort of angle and that'll form the center of your ball like that. So I'm gonna tape that in place. And that's it guys, that's done. Now when you're putting the tape on, keep it nice and taut so that way you're not having to iron out too many wrinkles in there and the surface is nice and smooth. Now all that's left to do is to cover it all the way around with tape. So what you wanna do is start with the pipe, put the tape onto the pipe, and then lead it upwards to the top, go over the top, and then back down again on the opposite side. So just to show you the progress quickly, I've done this much, and I'm gonna continue until all the gaps are covered. So keep going around with the tape. All right guys, and there it is. A beautifully shaped Cobra ball that's never gonna deflate. Now to make this height adjustable and also speed adjustable, all you need to do is drill a hole about two and a half inches from the end, an eight mil hole all the way through. And then when you put it into the click mask, you can use a nail or, or a pencil or something to put it in, or you can insert eight mil spring buttons. I'll show you. So, okay, I've drilled an eight mil hole, two and a half inches from the end there. And basically, once I put it inside the click mast, and the hole lines up with one of the holes in the click mast, you can just put a nail or a bolt through there to lock it in place. But I'm actually gonna use this eight mil um, spring button, which you can find on Culus.com. And I'm gonna insert that in there so that I've got a proper height adjustable system. Okay, I've just inserted the spring button in there, the double button, and now if I insert that into the click mast, it just lines up and the button locks it in place. So I can set whatever height I need. Well, here it is, guys. Painted it in red, and it looks really nice. Now, I'm gonna throw some gloves on and try it out. So guys, like I said, this bag never needs to be inflated. It's always ready to go when you are. Woo! I love it. I can make it go faster. I can make it go further up, lower down. Man, this bag is insane. Well, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you can take the time to make one of these. It's really good as an alternative to a ball that you have to constantly inflate or inflate every few days. This, you never have to do that. And it is super fast. So I hope you make it. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video.